Okay, now the culmination of all the work that we've done in the past weeks, here's the moment right here. A one-arm barbell, vintage, I know it's a lot of adjectives, overhead squat. Deal with the adjectives. It's the way it was for 150 years. We brought it back. I cannot tell you the results that we've seen from professional athletes to a 60 year old lady that I work with on a regular basis. Kids, they absolutely love this exercise. But again, we don't start, but we start at the previous progressions and work up to this. This is the byproduct. The practice that we put in for the past few weeks, this is it. So here's what it looks like barbell or dumbbell, doesn't matter, your call. Thick rip or not, again, it doesn't matter. If you want to bring this up with two hands, press it with one or two, it doesn't matter. I'm going to snatch it up over my head. Just to get it overhead, I'm going to come up on my toes, look at the moon. Imagine there's a moon up there. Look at it, embrace it, come up on the toes, and drive yourself into this nice deep squat like we've been doing right along. So I'm up on my toes, I descend, and I go and drive my heels to the floor. Now I'm going to bring my heels a little bit closer together. Pull on the toes. I drive into this nice deep hole. Took three weeks to get here, right? I drive out. Bang. Squeeze my legs together. Squeeze my glutes together. I support that weight overhead with my core, not my shoulder. And I built up that resilience through all the other work we did with vintage swings. Get up, sit up. Get up, sit up, clean and press with a twist. All of it. Byproducts sitting right there. Give a shot.